So to define our finished ground levels, I will make a new phase. And our finished ground levels in this project are defined with contours, just like for the existing. So these are the contours. All these here are contours of the proposed. And we also have two brake lines at the edge of the road. And this is the uh, outline that defines the area of disturbance. Now, this is the case when we are defining our, our proposed surface. Uh, the limits of the outline are the area, the limits of the area of disturbance. So again, I'm going to create a feature surface. And I'm going to use this pop-up window so that I can discard the gray shading and that I can see what I'm drawing. The contours were not very visible before. So I click here and I'm going to choose the draw and like the use ground levels option because the level of the outline we are drawing is that of the meeting of the earthworks of the existing ground levels. So I'm start I will start to draw my outline. I want to be very precise. Right, so I'm almost done. Just a few more points. And here, here, and I right click and click on finish. Right, so now I have defined my outline. Just like for the existing, I will draw my contour lines. Right, so I click on this button and I zoom in to one of the pawns and I start drawing. In detail. I can correct all this with by clicking backspace. Okay, so I right click to finish and then I click on closed, type in the level and click enter. And I continue the second. And repeat exactly the same procedure. So I am about to finish. Right, so now that I'm done with my contour lines, I'm going to start drawing my brake lines. I will define a brake line first to define the edge of the road. A brake line is a hard edge but with varying levels. I need to use the brake line drawing option to tell the software that the angle of the terrain changes with this line. And you can always define levels along with your brake line if you have them. However, since the software provides the option that makes each brake line take, take the levels from any control lines it crosses, I'm going to use this option and I'm not going to enter any levels here. 
So I'm gonna start drawing the first break line. I click here. I'm gonna zoom in. So I click on the first point and then I press on enter on my keyboard and then on the second point and then again enter and so and so So now I complete, I click on finish. Now to show the effect of this break line, I will click OK and the software will generate the surface. Now if we go into 3D mode, You can see that this side of the road has a hard edge here, and if I exaggerate a bit, whereas this side doesn't. So I'm going, I'm gonna return here and then go to t 2D, and I will go back into editing. And I will draw the second break line. Right, so I complete and then finish and now I click OK again. OK again. Right, so if I go into 3D view now, you can see that both sides of the road look correct and my finished levels now are very well defined. So I will rename this phase finished levels. <laughs> 